And welcome to episode 122 of the Play Economics Podcast, where we are finishing First up. First one of 2024. We are finishing up our Christmas slash New Year spectacular of fantastic episodes. Just boom, 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 straight at you. This is our 2024 predictions based on financial context for industry trends that we applied from last year to predict the future of 2024. And I would like to, I would like to remind and this you. Year, I promise you this year. At the end of this year, going into 2025, we'll replay this episode and actually keep score this year. Yes. And I would like to remind you that this was the podcast that was the first person to ever leak. You did? That Xbox was going to purchase Activision Blizzard King, and we were 100% correct. I will try to find the tweet, but if not, check out our Twitter, follow it, and go look for the tweet where I said, Microsoft is going to buy ABK, and they did. Like, three days later. It was awesome probably the best thing i still don't know how, how the hell you did that well it's because i am <clears throat> phil spencer but what we're going to talk about this year is our what 2024. we think as we yeah as we start this nascent 2024 how is this year going to play out and i'm going to go first because i'm going to take a big big swing on my first pick is that xbox game studios and xbox owned game studio wins game of the year and i'm calling hellblade 2 to win by a landslide game of the year unquestioned undoubted unanimous game of the year thoughts i th i think you're wrong i Good. i hope i hope we have I like, like another an it, i hope what i hope happens is i hope they they set up hellblade to be what they were doing, trying to do with Starfield, where there's this big marketing push and it's the second coming of Christ and the cats and dogs loving each other. And then an indie darling, like Dave the Diver, like some pizza tower shit comes out and sweeps I, the game. <laughs> I am but so... Is, I, 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 hope that it, I hope that Hellblade actually deserves it and doesn't and loses. I, I am doubling down on this, that it is going to be so good that there is no shot by the end of 2024 that I have not completed this game. Unlike Starfield, where I abandoned immediately. Yeah, I, I listen, this game I will said be from the jump when, in, when Xbox bought Ninja Theory that this has the potential to be their naughty dog. Maybe. I don't know. It's gonna, <laughs> it, is gonna win, it is gonna win game of the year, and I am very, very excited about it. Bobby, first 2024 prediction. I'll take a shot at you here. I have a prediction that Perfect Dark and Fable will not release, but will get trailers with zero gameplay. I have no rebuttal. <laughs> so my you know second, right. my second prediction, if we're taking jabs at people, is that Sony will release a few smaller first-party games, nothing noteworthy, nothing anyone cares about. And gives you zero reason to buy a PlayStation Portal or a PSVR 2. But get, will still sell better than Xbox. Will still sell better than Xbox because they will be completely carried by another game of the year contender, Rise of Ronin. Yeah, I don't know why what your emotional investment in Rise of the Ronin is, but... I don't know, I you. saw the trailer and I'm 100% in. 100% um, in. Speaking of game of the year contenders, I can tell you right now... Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2 will be my game of the year 2024. That shit looks so cool. <laughs> For the second time in a row, I have no rebuttal to that. Because you know it looks cool as hell. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. What I will say is that my third prediction for 2024 is that Square Enix is going to get a little too close to Xbox. And I'm not saying it's going to force Sony to buy it, but Sony's going to be sweating. By the end of the year that there's a little too they're a little, a little too, too close. chummy square enix and xbox they did the they did the show together they announced uh ff14 is coming to game pass i'm just saying they're getting a little chummy i wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden we start seeing the staggered release get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and we start seeing maybe uh equal releases from the final fantasy series and other square enix games maybe 
You want to hear my next one? Because I, I put some wild shit on this list. You did. You did. Blood um, War 2 Remake. Yeah, I mean, Blood War 2 Remake is on my prediction list every year. Blood War 2 or Remake. <laughs> but that's not it. I think... Either or. And again, I, I took the time to really make these intricate. Yep. My prediction. And this is the, one, the reason I want to keep score. Because I so believe that this will happen. Mm-hmm. The Elden Ring DLC will end 2024 with a better Metacritic critic score than anything else released that year. <laughs> Except for Hellblade 2. Nope. I th- I th- I I am f- again. I think Elden Ring will end 2024 with the highest Metacritic score. I have a counter 2022 2024 prediction in we hear zero from FromSoft. R- that would be catastrophic, I think. Zero. They don't no DLC, no Bloodborne news, no Armored Core anything, and then in 2025 we get the Elden Ring DLC. So is, 2025, that, is that your prediction, spoiler. or do you want me to go another one? Not, yeah, that that is my prediction. Oh, okay, yeah. From soft. Um, I'll go this one. You know what? I'll combine seven and eight. I think we still don't get Fallout 3, New Vegas, or 4 up res ports. But the show is shockingly good, and we get another Skyrim port of some kind. I think we get a PSVR 2 or MetaQuest 3 Skyrim port. When does the show come out? April. I think uh, February, April. I want I don't know why I just said April in my head, on, but I think on. it's April. Well, show release date. I don't think they would release it next to um in February next to Halo. I think uh, it's April. I want to say it's April. Yeah, it is. April 12th. So, I bet that on April twelfth we get uh, up reses for Fallout series. It would be nice to, like, to either it's either going to be right before the show we get all the up reses or right after the show we get all the up reses. Similar to what, um, similar to how we saw The Last of Us and mm. um, Last of Us show. All right, man. Your last prediction for twenty twenty four. My last prediction, and this is more of a given than a prediction. That in 2024, we are going to see a colossal wave of ABK games coming to Game Pass. And they said nothing until 2024, and then we're going to start seeing January 1, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, all over Game Pass. You're going to see major discounts on it, and throughout each quarterly report from Microsoft, you are going to see sub numbers sub numbers sub numbers sub numbers of game pass skyrocket maybe my thought my thought uh i don't know i feel like i i said all my good ones here i guess i could write can i rapid fire through the ones i haven't said yet because they're kind of teeny me. tiny Hit yeah so my last little batch here including my honorable mentions are i think we guess ghost of sushi ghost of tsushima 2 and the movie. I think the movie that is being directed by the uh, John Wick director. Fucking, that is a match made in heaven. Give it to me right Love now. To see it. Love in, to see it. Injected in my eyes. Um, I think Gear 6, Holiday 24, because you people have nothing. I think that that's fair. Been a while we since do, we heard from them. We right? have nothing? Yeah. Anyway, Name one um, game. One 2024 game from Sony. One. None. <laughs> none. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Um, and this one is kind of a pie in the sky. It is not a remake here for Resident Evil because we just had a remake. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a new entry year. I think we get nine. Yep. I think we get nine in the late spring. Mm-hmm. Re- uh, announced early on in the year. No and I shot. Think, and I think Jill Valentine is the protagonist. I... I think it's fine that we get it by the end of the year, but there's no way that it gets announced and released within like a quarter. They always do that. That's always, always. Is it? It's always within eight, like eight to ten months of uh, announcement. They release it. Yeah, but you're saying they release it early this year and then do it spring. That's four so, months. Oof. Not even. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. Announcement January release May. It's five months. That's quick. That's quick. I can, or I October? Can get yeah, I could I could get like a nice fall special from uh, Resident Evil. But I think if it's coming out in May, they, they would have announced it by now. 
Because here's the other thing. Monster Hunter Wild is going to set the world on fire in 2025, yep. at least for Capcom. So it's like, yep. do they... Because it's unclear that where they go next with the remake. Do they remake 5, which is still playable, but is not... Even though it's the best-selling one. Yep. It's the one that people kind of care the least. Or do they go back-back and re remake zero one or code veronica so they like the the path has been kind of clear up to this point i think that now that they've they've done the one that everyone wanted they did four yeah. it's like i, I kind of don't care if you ever remake any of these yeah i think i think what you're gonna see remake wise is either like you said they're gonna pick up with five or i think you're gonna get a sweep of everything before four up resed well, and so they not... remade, so they ground up remade two, three, and four. So when two was in nineteen, three was in twenty, four was in twenty two. Okay. Gotcha. So relatively recent. Then yeah, I guess then they would do zero and one. Code Veronica. So maybe you'll get. A I think. Of those. I think with how I think it's Code Veronica because that's the most obscure one. Yeah. that has all the fans clamoring mm -hmm. that ties in the most to the way that they changed a few things in the DLC of four. That's fair. <clears throat> Listen, it works for me. I could see it. I don't think we're going to get another remake from them next year. I don't either. I think it's nine. I think it's the yeah. next core entry. Yeah. And I think Jill Valentine is the protagonist because we haven't I'm seen her in a while. You did put a lot of thought into these. So you really think no perfect dark zero zero. I don't think you see shit about Fable or Perfect Dark. Fable. I also have I also have my other one that I didn't even touch on is that you still don't get a Switch Pro. I think you get oh. another full calendar year of Switch. I called that when they announced Switch Two that they're you're they're not. Doing That's what Switch I mean. Pro. Whatever, yeah. whatever, yeah, two, two Pro, whatever. Yeah. I don't think you see any new Nintendo hardware next year. Easy, not until twenty twenty five. And I think people are going to be pissed because there's going to be a content drought. They're not yep. doing another Mario. They're not doing another I think you get Zelda. Prime, I think you get Prime 4 as the swan song. I think how do I, put this? I think Prime 4 is that bridge thing. Because like, you know how they always release like Zelda on Wii U, but it's really the Switch flagship. And yeah. then, right? I, I think you'll get Prime 4 as the bridge game. At like the end of 2024 or early 2025? <clears throat> I have no idea. I have no idea. I just know yeah. you're not going to see new hardware from them next year. Nope. I no just, I just I know. so either. Um, well, with that being said... With that being said, if you like what you heard here, remember to like, follow, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Apple Podcasts and anywhere that you consume any type of podcast media. Follow us on our show. So link are in the description below. And also, hop into our Discord. Join the Play Economists up there, making rowdy financial context for industry trends takes. And remember, as always, happy gaming. <laughs>